Okay, in this video, I just want to do a quick example of taking a, a, a given graph, and we're going to take that function, and we're going to write it in terms of unit step functions, or equivalently, we're going to uh, find a formula for this graph in terms of heaviside functions. And again, you will have to do this uh, from time to time when you're solving some differential, differential equations uh, using Laplace transforms. So. This will be a helpful little skill, and again, it's nothing, it's pretty straightforward actually, it's pretty easy, but let's do one just in case. So there is a, a, a slightly sloppier version of my graph. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to think about, you know, I want to come up with equations for each one of these functions. Well, okay, that's not too bad. So if we look at, at, at our first, you know, our first line here. Well, that's just going to be the line, and let's assume, I think I call this the x-axis. Um, let's call it the t-axis instead, because a lot of times you see them use the variable t. Okay, so for the first one, well, that's just a straight line. that's got a, It goes up 2 over 1, so that has a slope of 2, so that would just be the uh, equation y equals 2t. The second one, the second uh, line here, well, uh, for this one, the slope is going to be negative 2 over 1, so we know we would have a negative 2t in there. And if you want to figure out, out the y-intercept, you know, if we go back, so if we go to the left, another one unit up 2, we would be at the y-intercept of 4. So that second segment is just going to be y equals negative 2t plus 4. Between 2 and 3, it's just the line y equals 0. And then once you get past 3, you have the line uh, y equals 1. Okay, so easy enough there. I'm just going to put all of this, I'm just going to write all of this as a piecewise function. So my function f of t, we said that we had the function 2t, and that's if t is between 0 and 1. Likewise, we've got the graph negative 2t plus 4. I'm going to write that as 4 minus 2t. And that's between 1 and 2. So t will be greater than or equal to 1, less than 2. Then it's just the constant function 0. So that's from 2 to 3. And then uh, it's just the function y equals 1. And that's if t is greater than or equal to 3. Now, the last thing we have to do is write it in terms of these unit step functions. And this is pretty straightforward. All you have to do at this point You take your function, so the first part we had this function uh, 2t, and then all I have to do is multiply that by an expression involving heaviside functions, and the way that we can write this is as h of t minus h of t minus 1. So when you look at this, just think about this as being, you know, the graph. So we were graphing y equals 2t over the first interval. That's just, again, this section of the graph, y equals 2t. If you look at the values next to t, you can think about those as being sort of uh, uh, um, starting and stopping points of the graph. So I could have written h of t as h of t minus 0, and then we have this h of t minus 1. So basically, the graph starts at 0, and it stops at uh, t equals 1. So that would be the f first uh, uh, part of our expression here. So 2t multiplied by h of t minus h of t minus 1. And I'm going to run out of room, but I'm just going to uh, just put a plus here, because again, this is all one big function. And now we'll just do the same thing. So the next one, well, that's 4 minus 2t. So that's my section of the graph uh, that, that came next, 4 minus 2t. And then I just do the same thing, I think. Okay, so this is going to start at, at t equals 1. And this goes up to the value of t equals 2. So that would be my next expression. So again, I've got my section of the graph. It starts at va the value t equals 1 and goes up to t equals 2. And again, I, I know you see negatives in here, but think about the opposite sign. So it starts at 1, stops at 2. And then uh, you could write the third part. You know, you really don't need that. Write the, the third part, which would be 0. Just for completeness, let's write it. So that would be h of t minus 2 plus h of t minus 3. 
Of course, in the final formula, you would just not even have that term in there. And last but not least, the last section of the graph, that corresponds to the function y equals 1. So there's my function y equals 1. And we said this one started at t equals 3. And since it just keeps going on forever and ever and ever and ever, we'll just leave this with this expression just involving one term. And that's it. That would be your solution. So f of t would be 2t multiplied by h of t minus h of t minus 1 plus the second part plus the third part plus the fourth part. So um, again, this is all the solution. So that's all there is to it. It's just you know thinking about what's the graph, where does it start, where does it stop, no big deal. And again, I've got a, an example where I actually solve a Laplace transform. And one of the very first things I do is I take a graph. It's, a, it's even a little bit more basic than this. And I write it in terms of these step functions, these heave aside functions. And by doing that, uh, I'm able to apply Laplace transforms and inverse Laplace transforms to get a solution.